what is going on youtube it is that kid dimes here bringing back another video and um in this video as you guys can tell by the title i will be giving you some tips that most pros do not even want to tell you because it will make you such a better player and the reason i find out these tips is i watch a lot of ninja dakotas myth and uh like all them other those are the three biggest ones that i watch and literally literally <laughs> Literally, these tips are, they all do these things. They literally all do these things, but they no, they never tell anybody. And I watch those little tip videos, and those tip videos, in those videos, you see the person, whoever is trying to show the tips or whatever, he drops like three kills, and he's trying to give you tips. I I average like a 2 point some KD, and um, most most games I average, I get like 10 plus some kills. I got nine this game. And also, make sure you stick to the end. I actually kill a whole team at the end. It was kind of crazy. But yeah, most of those people do not know what they're uh, talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I get a decent amount of kills. I get a decent amount of wins. I think I have 130 some in squad. And um, yeah, this clip is a little bit old. But before I get in the video, I would just want to say it. I was just want to say a huge thanks to everybody who subbed to me this year, like 2018, because actually, fun fact is I gained 22 subs in the last year, like 2017. In the last six months, I gained 22 subs, and in two months. In two months, I've already gained 16 subscribers this year. And uh, I just want to thank everybody. We're almost at 100. I think I'm at like 89. 89 or 90, I think, right now. Haven't checked this morning. Maybe it's gone up, but I don't know. But yeah, I would just like to thank everybody. But let's get straight into this video. And before we even start with the tips, this is kind of an obvious tip. Please, if you are not doing this, please, and this is before the update, so if it, if I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing turbo building or none of that, but please, use Combat Pro if you are on console. If you use regular, you will get destroyed most of the time. Ever since I switched to Combat Pro, I have been a much better fighter. I, um, I'm, I'm just really good at fighting, and most of you who... Got the who played the game early knew there was no combat pro before that, so you might not be used to it. Trust me, try to use it, try to get used to it because once you do, you will be such a better player. But let's get right into the video. The first thing, the first tip this one is obvious, but a lot of noobs do not know this. A lot of noobs, and if you are a noob and you are watching this video, this will help you a lot. As you can see right here, uh, we kind of got destroyed even when I try to do this, but. Keep on watching. It was just crazy. But, yeah, the first tip is always make sure you build. And the two things I really prefer to build with is wood and brick. The reason for that is metal takes a long time to build. So before it gets that nice, good strength, the other team might be able to destroy it once it's done finish and build and if you don't know this while it's building the health is actually lower than it's supposed to be so it'll be easier for them to break your thing but if you use wood or brick if you use wood or brick it will be faster to build and it will have a higher health while the metal would still be working on building and have a lower health this is why i prefer using wood or uh, brick when i fight but the reason you want to uh, build and I, this is kind of obvious, but a lot of people don't do it for some reason. If you are fighting somebody, even if they, for some reason, are not hitting a shot, build stairs at a wall. Having height advantage over somebody just helps all the time. It will literally make you so much better because that height advantage will basically make sure only your head is peaking. And it will be a lot harder to hit you if it is only your head peaking. Also, if you build, it will be harder for the other team to hit you. So, like, obviously, you won't be getting hit and you'll be hitting them. That's why building is such a great thing. Obviously, if you watch Myth or Dakotas, especially Myth, he's not even known for his shooting. He is known for his building. His building literally messes his whole, his, his opponent's mind and he just easily kills him with a shotgun from behind or just... Kills them with height advantage. That's why I think building is most important. Ninja, Dakotas, all the big pros do it. So, all you noobs or even good players who don't build still, make sure you build. It will make you so much better. Keep watching to the end of this clip and you will see why building makes you so much better. 
Next tip, though, is make sure you play aggressive slash pushing. And most tip videos that I watch are always like just hide in bushes, hide in trees, never fight anybody. Never. No, that's not the way to go. Because if you never fight anybody, if you just hide, first of all, you're not getting in that practice with your controller. Just think about it as kind of a sport. I mean, you can't really compare a video game to a sport. But just just think, think about it this way. If you are about to play a basketball game or like a baseball game or whatever, don't you want to warm up before you play that game? That's kind of what you do here. There's no training mode like in Rocket League. There's no way that you can train before the game. So what you will have to do is play one game. Or play a couple games and just push so you get warmed up. And if you don't push or don't play aggressive or don't fight, you will not be warmed up. And you will go straight into a fight leading towards the end of the game where you will... <clears throat> And the end, towards the end of the game, you will be in a fight, and you will be so, like, not warmed up, so, like, cold feeling, that it will just kind of destroy you. You will be so cold. Like, I don't know what, I don't know how to explain it. You just won't be warmed up, and you'll get destroyed, simply. And the biggest thing is, you always want to make sure you push teams, because they can have loot bandages, med kits, and all that you need. You need all those loot, bandages, med kits. You need those scars, those golden snipers. And when you push teams, you'll get those things, and it'll be a lot easier to fight the last couple of teams to get that uh, first place and not that second place. Because usually when you hide, you will get second place. And, uh, yeah, this is some myth building right here. Uh, I kind of went off on them. But, yeah, um... You you most likely get second, third, fourth place if you um if you don't push and be aggressive with teams. Ever since I started being pushing aggressive with teams, I've just been such a better player. I've literally been getting so much more wins, so much more kills, and it's just because I've been pushing. Next tip is mini shields over shields. Many shields and shields over bandages. And the reason for this is most people that you kill will actually be carrying bandages. So, like, having those mini shields, and they're also a lot better because many shields, you put down health a lot faster. And uh, what's it called? And shields, it's just a 50 shield thingy, so you can have max shield a lot faster. And bandages, they only get you to 75. And bed kits, it takes you what? Med, med kits take you uh 10 seconds to put up. So, yeah. Mini shields and shields over med kits and bandages. The last and final fifth tip is um this one is kinda honestly this one is kinda obvious, but even I as a good player didn't start using this until actually like the last twenty or ten days of season two. And as you guys may know, season three is out right now. Or Wait, is this season 2? No, season 3 is out right now. Season 2. Last, like, 20 days, I started doing this. And it's actually, I started using sound in my headphones. And most people will not use sound and actually play it through their TV. And they say they can hear everybody the same. But no, actually, if you play it through your headphones, you hear footsteps a lot better. And better way of you not getting stuck up behind. And also, you can know where your opponent at is at, so you can be ready for a gunfight. Most places, if you landed tilted, uh, somebody might land at your building, and you might, and you have to know that, or else you will be running around the building, looting, while somebody is hearing you, getting ready to pop you with a shotgun. That's why having that sound in is really important. Also, being aware of your surroundings is also extremely important. Always make sure you check a room before you walk in. Always make sure you look around you while, while you're running, maybe towards a circle away from the storm. It's always no, good to know this because somebody might see you, somebody might be wanting to sneak up on you, or somebody might be completely clueless and you have that you have that edge over them because you know exactly and you know exactly how to push them because you are aware of your surroundings but guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was actually a long video and i do have a banger coming in but the banger is kind of taking a long time to cord we're trying to make this perfect and yeah once again 
Thank you, everybody who's been subbing to me, showing good support. I love you guys for that. And, uh, yeah, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. It's been That Kid Dimes, and I'm out. Peace.